Hello, church family. We love you so much, and welcome to day one of 21 days of prayer at the Cause Church. Today is Saturday, September 2nd, and we will be finishing our 21 days of prayer on Friday, September 22nd. Uh, Heading into the fall, we feel like God put on our hearts pretty clearly to pray for the harvest, pray for people to come to Christ all around the world, actually, not just in our own backyard, but all around the world. And so that's what these 21 days of prayer is. It's focused on interceding and praying for the harvest. You know, I think interceding and praying for salvation is the most important thing we can possibly pray for. In fact, I just talked about that recently in our our Bold Biblical Prayer series when I preached on intercession. There's nothing God wants more than for men and women to come to the saving knowledge of the gospel of Jesus, of his love and his truth and his power and his presence in our lives. And so it's a privilege. Uh, It's a privilege and a responsibility for us as believers to partner with the Lord in prayer And we want to encourage you. We're going to teach you how to pray for the harvest, how to pray for lost people. You're going to learn that in these next 21 days of prayer. Um, As we kick off our 21 days of prayer, we're basically going to focus the first week on praying for the nations. In other words, we're going to have a global focus. Maybe you've never prayed that way before, but you're going to learn. And we invite you to to join us in that. And then uh, our, our second week, we're going to kind of pray and focus on the United States. We're going to pray for our own nation, probably our own state, the state of California. And then the third week, we're going to narrow it, and we're going to focus in praying for the city of Brea and our local communities. And specifically, we'll be praying that week a lot for fish food, for our fish food weekend experience, which is September 23rd and 24th. It's a great, what we call it is an evangelistic outreach to our community. In other words, evangelizing in, in preaching the gospel. What it is, is it's a, it's a tool, it's an opportunity for all of us in our church to invite family and friends to come, uh, people who don't know the Lord, maybe just don't go to church at all, to come and have an amazing experience, and it will be amazing. But more importantly, for them to hear a clear presentation of the gospel and have an opportunity to respond to Christ. And so we're believing that hundreds of people on Fish Food Week, and please agree with us in prayer, uh, that hundreds of people would come to Christ, men, women, and children, because there'll be a lot of kids here that weekend as well. So we encourage all of our prayer partners, which is you, which is me, that's us, uh, partnering in prayer to be led by the Holy Spirit, Uh, as we pray, and specifically as we pray for the nations to be led by the Holy Spirit in choosing a specific nation or maybe nations to pray and intercede for. And of course, that's important. We're in a series right now on the Holy Spirit, so we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to help us to pray. Um, As we lead out in in prayer, we're going to name the nation uh, today specifically, and probably in the next couple days, we're going to name the nation that we're praying for. So you can insert the name of of the nation that God puts on your heart, and uh, we're going to agree to to take back territory uh, for the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. So every day, we'll start with a prayer target, and we'll give you some prayer points. Um, We'll give you a couple of scriptures, and we will also then pray the written prayer uh, and then after that, we'll just pray led by the Holy Spirit, whoever, whichever staff member is leading on that day. And we will also probably give you an action point to, to you know, to uh, put into action, to do something with. Um, and so you're going to learn, we're going to learn a lot together about how to pray, how to intercede. Let's get started. So our prayer point for today uh, is this, our, our target is the nations, that the nations will be blessed by God and that the lost will be found as revival breaks out all around the world and in the nations. And so today we align with, we declare, we pray and speak in faith the following scriptures. Here's a few. Psalm 22, verses 27 and 28. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. 
Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and all it contains, the world and all those and those who live in it. And then I really like Psalm uh, chapter 2 verse 8, especially when it comes to intercession and praying for the nations. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. I just want to encourage you, and I, I preached it recently, but um, pray big, bold, biblical prayers. Ask for nations. Reinhard Bonnke believed for the entire continent of Africa, the entire continent to be saved. John Knox said, give me Scotland or I die. And God used that man powerfully, both of those men, and, and men and women throughout all of history in nations. So let's pray big prayers. Here's our written prayer, and I'm going to lead us in that, and then I'll pray. Father, we thank you for the nations that you are calling unto yourself. We thank you for the love that you have for all people, and we call the nations to you. Make yourself real to the lost. Allow them to see you for who you are. The God who created them, loves them, and desires to have an intimate relationship with them. In the nation of blank, and then you can insert a nation right there by name. We implore the Holy Spirit to sweep through the land and compel the lost to seek after you. Make yourself real and open the door for the lost to recognize that you desire a relationship with them. We declare that the nation of blank belongs to you and call for a mighty work to take place. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the work you are doing and call forth greater things. Father, we call forth a revival in this nation and call forth new missionaries to be sent to the land and new pastors and leaders to rise up. We thank you for what you're doing in the land of a blank. That's your nation right there. And in, in the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Let me now just lead in, in a prayer from my heart. So, Father, we thank you again that the earth is the lord's the fullness thereof we thank you for your great love for god so loved the world every person in the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life lord i pray that that our our faith would grow our faith would expand in these coming days especially this week some of us, maybe we haven't thought about praying for a nation by name before or, or even nations or even a continent. I pray, God, that you would put on our hearts individually, the Holy Spirit would speak to us about a specific nation that you want us to pray and intercede for in this time and probably for, for the rest of our lives. Lord, you said, ask, and I will give the nations to you. We want to be men and women of faith who believe you to do great things. Lord, I feel in my heart, I feel the nation of Mexico as I was thinking about this. I feel the nation of Mexico, Lord, just south of us. Father, we pray for great revival in Mexico in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you would raise up men and women, children, young people. Father, they would have a powerful encounter with you, that you would call them, that they would be a light and a witness, Lord, in their community, in their city, in their region, and in that entire nation of Mexico. Lord, we pray that you'd continue to send missionaries to Mexico, but God, just raise up the Mexican people, Lord God. Call them, Lord God. Call young people into ministry. May they have dreams and visions from you, Lord. And Father, may there just be a, a revival in Mexico unlike anything that has ever happened before in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, guide us and lead us as we pray these next couple of days, Lord. Uh, 21 days of prayer, we commit it to you. Teach us to pray, to intercede in, di in deeper ways that, that maybe we've never experienced before. Remind us to pray, Lord, even as we're driving, as we're getting ready, wherever we're going. God, put on our hearts to pray, to intercede. We want to partner with you in what you're doing in this world. Thank you, Lord. It's a great honor and privilege in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So here's your action point for today, specifically. Uh, it's just to ask God to place a nation, a country on your heart. Maybe even, it might be a couple of nations. It might be a continent. Uh, but ask the Lord, Lord, speak to me. Put, put a nation, put a region of the world on my heart that I can pray for daily 
Uh, pray for, for salvation, pray for revival, pray for the things that we just prayed for. Church, we love you. Thanks for partnering with us. This is gonna be a powerful time. It always is when we pray. God bless you, we love you. We'll see you at church this weekend.